Hello everybody, Scott Golden here talking about uh, Dark Empaths today. Welcome to Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. We've got over 1,500 of these available for your listening pleasure. We continue to add wherever we can. My schedule doesn't always allow me to be here as often as I'd like, and I'm also planning a move and trying to clear up medical debt and all sorts of other fun things. But when I'm here, I'm here, and I hope to continue to be here when it's convenient for me and hopefully for you. But what are some signs of Dark Empaths? First of all, we've got to kind of define empathy. Empathy is the ability to feel other people's emotions or to relate to other people's emotions on a continual basis. Dark empathy is the desire or the focus on using those to your advantage in a unhealthy or toxic way. And this can often be extremely difficult for people who um, have, you know, kind of a dark triad, the narcissistic uh, personality traits or the traits that ultimately aren't going to be in the best interest of a person who is looking at uh, trying to, you know, be in a healthy situation. Obviously, people who have uh, dark triad uh, natures, so narcissistic, sociopathic, psychopathic, anything of that nature, are going to be more likely to be dark empaths because these are individuals who, for the most part, really don't care about anything other than the, the, their direct effect or what's going to affect them directly in any given moment and unfortunately what happens is if you fall in love with a person like this if you have relations um, in, a, in a personal way with someone like this if you have family members or friends like this you get used to bad behavior on a continual basis they also are um, very malicious they, they want power and so trying to control other people through their use of power and or trying to get people to behave in the way that they want them to be by using manipulation techniques. Now, manipulation can be positive manipulation, such as being charming, or negative manipulation, which is intimidation or threat. And so what begins to happen is the back and forth between those two things ultimately leads a person to feel, um, you know, that they don't have complete control and jealousy becomes another factor in that so if you're doing better than someone who has those traits or is a dark empath and they feel that they should be getting the, the glory the credit the attention the focus whatever have you they're going to make you feel guilty for what's going on in your life as being better than theirs so there's always a comparative factor there's always a desire to be in a better position or be seen as better than other people and so that illusion of competition that i talk about in so many other audios comes into real heavy nature here the guilt complex is also another factor that often becomes a major force because when you are doing better than them or you're not focused on them or you choose to disengage from them at any level they will make you feel guilty on a continual level simply because number one they can but two if you're feeling badly then they can feel powerful again realize with a dark empath it's all about the power struggle it's all about trying to get you to feel a certain way better than than they are only when it suits them so they're going to prop you up if they can benefit from it but other than that they're going to tear you down and that tendency can become exhausting also they're going to try and gaslight you into believing that for the most part any time that you disagree with them or challenge them or have a different view from them that you're the one with the problem you're the one that's trying to manipulate the situation because they don't want to take any personal responsibility for anything of any sort that would be considered inappropriate or unhealthy but at the end of the day it all comes down to the reality that in their focal point all they're really concerned about is the reality that they have control over you and how you think of them how you see them and everything associated there so it's important when you're dealing with someone like this to get help, be it counseling, be it coaching, whatever have you, because the recovery from the emotional trauma that can happen from a person such as this can be quite devastating and difficult to deal with. Not knowing how to deal with it can also create problems because if you don't know how to recover, if you don't know how to take care of yourself after narcissistic or dark empathic abuse, then you will obviously fall prey to someone similar in the future because these behaviors, which are not kind or or useful or helpful for anybody, um, will seem natural to you and thus you'll tolerate things that you normally wouldn't or shouldn't. And that can be super uh, damaging both in the long and short term of your daily life. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you uh, to reach out if there's anything I can do to be of assistance to you in your recovery journey should you need to take a recovery journey. Until next time, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.